Hello, welcome to my channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some cheesecake. I'm going to show you some individual cheesecakes. So they are really, really nice and lovely for parties or just for individual desserts. So enjoy. Enjoy. And if you do like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell just to give you a gentle reminder of when the videos come out, usually every Saturday. So these are the ingredients that you need. You need 210 grams of digestive biscuits. Now, I find these are the best ones, but you can use Aerials, you can use um, other types of biscuits, you can experiment. I like those. You have 65 grams of butter, 340 grams of cream cheese. A lot of the um, cream cheeses come in 340 grams so it's just the perfect amount. We have 100 grams of sugar. I'm going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of lemon juice, two eggs, 120 grams of sour cream and we need 15 grams of plain or all-purpose flour. So we're just going to melt some butter in the pan. So while I'm melting the butter, I'm just going to break up a couple of these biscuits and put them into a food processor. Or you can just put them in a bag and then just crush them. All right, so as you can see, we just pour them out the bag and then you have your nice crumbly mixture. That's an easy way to do it, or as I said, you can put it in your food processor and do it that way. So here we have our crushed digestive biscuits or whatever type of biscuits you decide to have and then we're just going to pour a melted butter into there and then we'll just give this a mix around making sure that all that butter is incorporated into your digestive biscuits and you can see the texture starts to change and the colouring starts to change so we're just going to scoop a bit of the biscuit mixture into one of the cake tins so we're just going to press it down and make it nice and firm and then if you want you can just get your finger in there and press it down even further and we do this for all 12 cake cases so as you can see this one is nice and compact and what I did I'll show you one that I've not pressed down yet I've pushed down with one of these um, cup sizes and it just compacts it nice and tight so you get a better job than just pushing down with your finger it's much better to use something solid even a glass or whatever you can find but I found these just a perfect size a quarter a cup and push it down so as you can see I've done the base and squashed them down so I'm just going to put these in the fridge for at least half an hour to an hour right so into mix and bowl we're going to put our cream cheese and then we're just going to whisk this with a hand mixer You don't want to over mix it, but you want it nice and creamy. Right, now we're going to add a little bit of sugar at a time. And give that a whisk. Now we want a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we want a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now you can either buy it in a thing like this, or you can just squeeze a bit of lemon juice from a fresh lemon and then we'll add two eggs we'll give this another whisk you can see the color is changing and the texture is changing and every now and then it's a good idea just to get a spatula and just gather up what's on the edge of the bowl and just make sure it's all mixed in so we're not leaving any bits behind because it, it can stick to the edge mm, this is looking lovely now we're just going to add a bit of flour give that a bit of a mix and now we add our sour cream the sour cream and the cream cheese is put in room temperature is best you can mix it by hand or you can use the whisk 
doesn't really matter. So the best thing to do so it's quite evenly um, put onto the biscuit mixture is just to get an ice cream scoop. And just pour it on top of the biscuits. It's a good way of measuring. Mm, this is looking lovely. I like doing the individual ones. The big one is nice. The individual ones are lovely. They don't take as long to cook. I've just liquidized some strawberries, so I'm just going to do a bit of an experiment here. I've never done it before, and I just thought of the idea. It's just putting some of the pureed strawberry mix on top of the biscuit mixture. And then I'm going to put the cream on the top of that. See what that turns out like. Then we make sure I've got left. I haven't got a lot here, but I'm just going to put some strawberries. I'm going to put some strawberry puree mixture in with the remainder of my creamy mixture. And just give this a mix around. And then we'll scoop that to make a strawberry cheesecake. So as you can see, they're looking lovely. So we're just going to give them a bit of a shake to even them out a little bit. And then we'll put them in the oven. So these are what they look like when they come out the oven. Right, and as you can see, I'm just going to give them a little shake now. And you'll see the middle is still not quite set and that's the way you want them. So there's, there's a little bit of a wobble in the middle of your cheesecakes and they are perfect. So we'll let these cool and once they're cool then we'll put them in the fridge for at least four to six hours uh, or preferably overnight. So I'll show you what they are like when I take them out of the cases tomorrow morning. Alright so as you can see these are the cheesecakes that I've taken out. So I did some strawberry ones. I also did one with the biscuit coming around the sides as well so I'll show you that so now we're just going to take the casing off so you can see what this actually looks like see doesn't that look nice lovely bit of biscuit underneath and the cheesecake on the top so as you can see when I'm taking this one out I actually decided just to try it and see if by putting the biscuit all the way around and squashed it against the edge of the paper and so you can see that the biscuit is on the outside as opposed to having one like this where the biscuit is just at the bottom I just thought I'd experiment that actually looks really quite nice now you can decorate these you can just place a nice strawberry on the top you could even have some cream you can have a few chocolate chips you can melt some chocolate in a bowl you can do that in the microwave or you can do it in a bain marie in the cooker and just sprinkle some chocolate another idea you can just get a bottle of like um, chocolate sauce or some kind of dessert sauce and you could just sprinkle some on Look at that. There's all different ideas. So have fun making yours. And I'd love to hear in the comments what kind of designs or what kind of toppings you put on yours or if you just like to have them plain.